Hello. our YouTube world we found Jess. How's it going? Good, how are you? Awesome, so what's new? Mm, um, I don't stay where I was staying anymore oh, because no. of issues between me and the guy I Something happened and I'd rather not be there. He made me feel very uncomfortable. Oh wow. Well that's so you were on a lease for that place though, right? So how's that gonna work out? I was there less I was only it was a, a six month thing. I was there temporarily. It was like six months, every six months. He signed a three year lease, I signed a six month lease. But I explained to the manager what had happened, what had happened, and um, they excused me off of the lease. Oh, no kidding. That was Molly's boyfriend. Oh, okay. That's, remember Molly, the one you were trying to get a hold of? Mm -hmm. Sorry. But they excused me off of the lease. Excellent. It was either I left or he would, I would have had to call the cops and for other reasons I'd rather not get the police involved so. but other than that I'm staying kind of hiding staying with my friend Dave again so. okay back to the usual yeah is that working out all right for you yeah the landlord said as long as he don't see me he don't have can't say nothing so the guy that owns the place okay in other words don't let them catch me that see me there in other words if i'm there either be uh there and not seen how you say right instead of be seen and not heard <laughs> so a lot of people watch our channel that are currently suffering from addiction or or in the process of cleaning up mm -hmm. and they use these videos as uh, kind of an inspiration mm -hmm. or a reminder of what their life could be if they're not keeping on the straight and narrow so what suggestions do you have for them If you get the chance to get clean, get out of here and don't ever come back. Because if you come back, you're going to wind up doing the same shit over. People, places, and things. you got to cut all people, places, and things off. From the old life to the new life. You do. Right. If you don't, you're going to wind up sliding back down the slide again. How, how has your trip to recovery been working out I haven't been getting high as much as I was I my mom and my grandmother aren't doing too well and that's been my main thing um trying to get myself straightened out so I don't want my mom or my grandmother to have to bury me I don't want to bury them either but that's the way it's supposed to go but. so what so how much are you using now um, since I left the apartment, when was the last time I seen these guys? Three weeks ago? Uh, two weeks ago. Um, I think I've gotten high maybe five times. So if you can get down to five, what, what's stopping you from getting down to zero? People, places, and things. I live in a rooming house. People in the rooming house get high. It's kind of hard to stay clean when you got it right in your face, so to say. Well, they're not giving it to you, right? No, but it was when it's right there next to you. So they're selling it to you? If it's right there next to you and you're offered it, you're an addict, of course you're going to say yes. Okay, so maybe this place isn't the best place for you to be Exactly, in. that's why I said it's only temporarily. How long has temporary been? Um... Excuse me. Trent! That ain't Trent, that's Molly. That's not Trent. Is that Molly? Molly! Okay, well, you too then. Been bugging the shit out of me to find you guys, and now I'm trying to tell her you guys are right there and she does this. No, well, she's busy. Well, apparently she don't need help then. I guess. Maybe she's gonna catch a little boyfriend over there. Some boyfriend. Anyway. But other than that, I've been fine. 
Okay. Anything else to, to add? No. Oh, thank you for your stuff. The pots and pans and stuff. Yeah, because like sure. even as the place where I'm staying, we can use them there. So it's not like whoever donated them or got them together did it for nothing because we can I can use them there. Okay. Um, is there anything we could do to help you along your way here? Anything more we can do? Just keep doing what you guys are doing. But is it get is it helping? Yes. Is it helping you get to where you need to be? Yeah, honestly, yeah, it is because it's less stress on me. With what, like, because the change of dancing from place to place, you either lose stuff or you gotta leave stuff behind. Like when Dave, my friend Dave's, like, even when I left and went to the apartment, I still had stuff stored at his house. Like a couple outfits for each season, shall we say, and a coat and like just a couple outfits for the summer, or for the winter and stuff, in case something happened and I couldn't get my clothes. Well, I, I can't because he's holding all my clothes. He won't give them back to me at the apartment. So yes, it does help because all the clothes I just got now, today, uh, with maybe four other outfits is all I have now. All the stuff I got from you guys and other people before are all being held hostage at the apartment. Oh, okay. The only way I can have my stuff back is if I come back and stay there. And once again, yes, I could have a police officer take me there and get my stuff. But for other reasons that I don't want to say, I don't want to get the police involved. I'd rather just chalk it up as a loss and replace the stuff. It would cost a lot less. <laughs> a Are lot less. Thousands less? $45,000 warrant. Ooh. Child support. Owed to who? Gloucester County and Camden County. So your kids went to foster, right? Um, 30... Like twenty-five or thirty-five thousand of it is owed to um, the state, and the other, like ten, fifteen grand, is owed to my oldest two boys' dad because he was not getting any assistance when for a while when he had the kids, and I had to pay back child support to him. He is in the process of trying to get. Um, I talked to him and he's supposed to be going to, me and him were supposed to be meeting up at Woodbury Family Court one day and getting the back child support, excuse me, that is owed to him dropped. So then I only have to worry about what's owed to the state. And right now with the cootie virus going on, they're not really trying to pick people up for child support. I really don't have to worry about it, but who knows, you could get a cop with a wedgie in have a bad day and I'd rather not take the chance so what's the most responsible thing you've done this week um made my kept my appointments and called my mom talked to my mom and my grandma okay speaking of your appointments where are we at with that Miss Brenda the um she did send off for my social security card so we're just waiting they said normally it can take anywhere from 60 to 90 days to get your social security card in the mail but now because of the cootie virus growing on it can take up to twice that amount so it can take anywhere from two to four months to get my social security card but i do have a okay i do have a um piece of paper downloaded off of the computer with social security thing and you know seal on it or whatever and it has my name and add my Dave's address and um social security number on it so they said I could use that because it's got the address and the social security number on it so why aren't you because I gotta wait until Miss Brenda Miss Brenda's um granddaughter was she wound up getting the cootie virus after her ministry was shut down, the baby's the only one that didn't get the cootie virus, and then the baby wound up getting the cootie virus. So, oh. she um 
they are doing the program that they run they do it every wednesday outside in the backyard now because she don't want to not do it at all she said she feels bad but she can't let us in the house because they had to quarantine for two weeks so i gotta wait two weeks well a week now that was last week that's a pretty stinky plant whatever they're doing over there it's a shit plant is that what it is yeah smells horrible <laughs> Right next to the park, right? <laughs> right next to the park. What's the name of this park? I don't know. The sign's right here. Oh, no. The sign's out there. I'm back. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. <laughs> I went to go check the name of the, play, the park. It was his fault. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple thousand people to watch these videos every week. What would you want them to learn from you? We've been, you interviewed you, what, five, six, seven times now? People, places, and things don't do the same. The definition of, you know how they say people do the same repetitive bullshit day after day expecting a different result? What's, what's that? It's insanity. Only you can change what's going on. Initially, you're the one that has to make the final decision on changing. Someone else can send you away to rehab. If you don't want to go to rehab and get clean, it's not going to work. When you come out, you're just going to wind up getting high again. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's all the questions I have for you. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No. Thank you. Take care.